you are perfectly single, then God provides the opportunity for you to give yourself away. Very important. To be single should be the goal of every married person even. Because you need to be separate, unique and whole to offer value to your husband or your wife. See, when you are whole, you're not a burden to your spouse. Oh, I'm going to talk about this for two minutes. You should get married because you got so much excess. You need someone to give it to. You shouldn't get mad because you're starving for something. You become a burden. You're looking for attention, looking for approval, looking for someone to make you feel important. That's why you get married. You are a burden to me. See, if you ain't nobody, and you marry someone who ain't nobody, nobody got married. Am I right about it? And so you got two people all the time trying to use each other to get to be somebody. And ain't nobody in the house. Serious reality. Very important. Write this down, please. Some of the loneliest people in the world are married people. So marriage does not solve loneliness. It just exposes it. If you feel lonely tonight, you don't need marriage. You need to meet yourself. Amen. Let me give you some thoughts that will blow your mind. Loneliness is magnified by marriage. It magnifies and exposes the fact that you are not unique. You are not separate. You are not whole. Singleness is an amazing thing. Adam did not know he needed a mate. Did you realize that? God was the one who said it is not good. Adam didn't care, wasn't interested. Why? He was so complete, so whole, so fulfilled, fulfilling his purpose, naming animals, ruling the garden, bringing order to the place. He was so busy, he didn't know he needed a mate. Here's the key. You are ready for marriage when you don't need to be. Oh, I said something deep this time. When you don't need to be married, then you are ready for marriage. Here's a statement you want to write down. You are not ready to live with someone else until you can live with yourself. Why? Because your relationship can only be as successful as your singleness with yourself. And I promise you that no human can meet your ego needs. They cannot meet your soul needs. And so we get married for folks to build our ego and give us a sense of pro approval and value. You are sick. You don't, you don't become a spouse when you are in that condition, you become a patient. Where you going? How long you gonna be? Why are you been away so long? Why you gotta work late again? You, you are sick. See, when you are whole, you don't need nobody to be somebody. And it's a privilege for somebody to have your body in the presence of their body when you are somebody. If someone says to you, I love you, I need you, oh, I need you, run. Bad problems. <laughs> you ever heard this? 
you know, some of the songs are amazing. They, they show how corrupt we are in our minds. Songs like, if you leave me now, you take away the biggest part of me. Ooh, girl, baby, please don't go. Now, wait a minute. If she leave, she can take what? What's she doing with that part? How about this one? Oh, girl. Come on now. Come on now. Help me, somebody. Help me. I'll be in trouble if you. Y'all ain't saved. <laughs> you mean people have that much control over your life? How about that one? Eh? You know that one? You are the sunshine of my life. Yeah. That's a dangerous song because I just told you that you are my son which means when you go away I'm in darkness ain't no one supposed to be that kind of light to you God's will is simple I am a son all by myself and when I meet you you are another son and when we get together we have a constellation Shout hallelujah somebody. Hallelujah. And just in case you don't appreciate how valuable this sunshine is and decide to leave me and go somewhere else. Just remember you don't take my light away. I have my own light. So go away and let me shine on.